Hi, this is Maggie of Maggie Minor Designs. Um, I'm here with you for the second part of my um, series, which will be many, many parts, um, about decorating my apartment. Um, using methodologies that are designed to make you feel better when you come home. Uh, not just to make it look good for other people or to scratch the surface, but to make you feel really good in the heart. Um, so one of the things I wanted to talk about today was art. One of my favorite things in the whole world. Um, so I do think, um, first of all, I think it's really, really important to have art, even from the very beginning, um, even if it's just something really small. Like, so for example, I only have a sofa in my apartment right now <laughs> um, because I gave away all my stuff, as I told you in the, in the previous video. Um, so I was sleeping on my couch, but at the same time, I feel that it's really important to, to look at things that are beautiful and inspiring and not just blank walls, um, because that's depressing. <laughs> um, and we don't want to be depressed in our home, like that's bad. Um, so when I, um, it's a long story, but um, I, I bought this piece of art a long time ago um, and I've had it in my car with me as I've been traveling. Um, partly because when, I, when I, I knew that when I finally found my home that I would want to have something that was beautiful and had a fond memory for me. So I, it's kind of weird looking, I know, but I brought the, I bought, brought this, this Indonesian mask, um, which isn't everyone's taste, but I love it because there's a story behind it. Um, because not only is it's kind of stylish and funky and modern, like I like, um, but it's actually, um, it's actually handmade, like it's an antique uh, sculpture from Indonesia. And I got it in Indonesia. Um, I was there for work. Um, I was working with a bunch of workaholics. Um, they wouldn't let us take a break. And I really bonded with this uh, consultant we were working on who had lived in Indonesia for like eight years. She's was an American. And she's like, Maggie, I know where you can go shopping. So I told her I loved art. And so we, she convinced everyone to get in the car and go. And, um, and, they, and, you know, all we've been finding are like these, like silly tchotchkes, things that were obviously mass produced. And she took us to this shop that had the most beautiful, like, old pieces and like handmade batiks. And just, I mean, it was just like, the best place to go. Um, and so I bought this and another sculpture um, to remind me of her and this fun little adventure that we had, you know, to get away from the workaholics because I thought it really reflected who I am. Um, so yeah, and we had many more adventures to try to, to like take little breaks on that trip. So every time I see this, I smile and I think of that. Um, so next time you're on vacation or you're away for work or you're somewhere exciting for work, um, I, I recommend um, putting away or putting aside at least like $200, which is what I do, um, and not going for the little tchotchke gifts and all that kind of stuff unless you have kids when you got to find little fun things, um, but, but put all the money towards like one thing and and ask locals you know where should i go to buy something that's really unique eight times out of ten you're going to find something cool um and then you can bring it home and you have it in your home and it does justice to like the vibration of your home it doesn't it doesn't seem cheesy it seems like you and it'll make you smile because it'll make you remember how much you enjoyed your trip um and even if it's for work and you're stressed out, it's a break. Like going to look for this, this thing for your home, it's a break. And you meet really nice people. Locals really, really love it when you ask them where you can buy art. Um, they take it as a compliment to their culture. Um, so that's my recommendation for the day. When you go on those trips, get yourself some cool stuff. Um, if you have, if you want to share cool things you've gotten on your trips or you, um, have any questions, join my Facebook group, um, home decor for a positive mindset 
and uh, we can have a little chat. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.